Look at me and my two best friends. This is officially a JRPG where we win with the power of friendship. This way or that way? Uh, more doors than I expect to safely get. Nope. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. The fact that I still almost made it. <laughs> Damn it. Now I just fully expect them to pull the trick again. Have a taste of La Bue, the greatest wine in the world. The La Bue winery has a long history. Vintage wine, starting alongside the revival of Krat. Its rosy color known as the Ruby of Heaven. Its delicately matured scent and taste. Its wonderful aftertaste. Even the legendary stalker enjoys the Taste the... Best wine chosen by the one who stood at the pinnacle. I just I gave up on that one. It had it almost looked like it might be Welsh. I don't know. Where am I? Uh, this, I just know this is gonna be some hard mode of pronunciation. Or I had to look it up for a minute, or I don't get it. I think. Hi, anybody new? Hello? Whoa, hold up. It's been a while since I worked like that. Oh, eight, you know? And I wouldn't want to cramp your stuff. I'll take a breather here, then catch up later. This is a trap. This is it. This is where I'm supposed to get caught and put in the coffin. And then they benefit from the distraction. Or even if not that, it's just that we're entering their territory and they're we know for a fact that they're wanted. Yay! I hear big bads. How far back do I need to go to get back to my... Eh, I'll just keep playing, it's fine. We have it now, I can use it when I get the chance. I can upgrade my weapon to actually scale correctly. Oh boy. Chain. Here's a news bulletin. This just in. The intruder turned out to be Geppetto's puppet. This month's protection fee will be waived for anyone who wants it down. What a deal! Now I'm here. Run, you idiots! <laughs> should I be worried about pressing my lightning buttons in the water? <laughs> I feel like I should be worried about pressing my lightning buttons in the water. God damn it. God damn it. Woo. I'm 
Oh god. Oh god, camera, camera. God damn it. I hit a point where I expect- ooh, the patient's amulet. I hit a point where I'm just expecting too much of the other thing, okay. Increases stamina recovery speed, ooh. And it weighs less. Which means it makes me weigh more. Manage weight. As your weight of your equipped items increases, your movement speed and stamina recovery speed slow down. When you reach a weight limit, it greatly slows down your speed. So yeah, everything gets slower and worse. 70% and 80%. Well, 65% is also slightly heavy, so it's not really showing me the right percentages there. Okay, so now my increased carrying weight thing and however it's calculated is now increasing... Let's see, it's now going 62, 57. So that's up to 5% when it was 3%. That's a significant... <gasps> ah! Hold my breath for a second there. Oh, please stop doing that. All right. Weird surprise fucked up hiccup. I'm busy. Leave me alone. But yeah, I think it originally increased my decreased my carry load by 3%. Now it's, now it's up to 5%. So it's like increasing my max by a percentage. So the more I actually upgrade the stat, the more effective the amulet also is as a knock on effect. Go back to being fast mode. Fast mode might honestly be better for my own playstyle against half of the uh, mini bosses too. Oop. Which might lead to issues with me and just the question of like, why are you playing? As, why are you using heavy weapon when half the time you're most you're playstyle benefits from fast weapons and you keep you keep being a, a dex character half the time which fair ow well it is pretty nice having a weapon have this much reach and this much relative speed while also being the strong quartz. I kind of get the fat, the vibe that half the time quartz is barely even meant to be a secret anyway. Like you're supposed to just kind of get it at the rate they want you to get it. This is almost a, certainly an ambush. I've played a video game before. It definitely feels like they're just much, they just give you am, uh, quartz at a set rate on purpose, essentially. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, man. What landed directly on a fucking thing? There we go. Balance crank. Don't want it. I mean, I could. But probably not. I probably don't want to reset my stat away from being the one that I'm actually specced for. Not doing great on healing items now. That was unhelpful. I'm so strong. The phone's ringing. Okay. Oop. Okay, hopefully in the long... Oop. Hopefully it'll... I'll take well to using strong mode against bosses. 
where admittedly half the time I'm just kind of baiting parries, then doing like one or two hits at a time anyway. Because I'm, because I'm afraid to really try to combo during those. It feels unsafe to do more than just poke really quick. I mean, half the time, even when I do one attack, I'm chose I'm choosing the wrong moment to do it. The bone cutting saw blade. Well, that sounds like the the bloodborne weapon. <laughs> This was a dead end area, yeah. Okay. No. God, no. Anyway. Don't want to deal with you because I want to see what was in here. Oh, is this just the barn? That already did. Yep. Hello, alrighty then. Might as well heal so I can start restoring the next heal. I forget to check sometimes. Lamp on? Lamp is on. Okay. The game's always dark enough that it's a little hard to tell. There's been a couple of times where I thought it might still be on and then it turned out to be off. Cannot be trusted. Gemini's Jiminy's iron protection. The Jiminy buff or something? Eh? Ah, guy. Wow, I took a lot of damage just now. That sucked. This weapon's definitely screwing me over a bit on the way that it can bounce off of walls in some of these situations. And it's surprisingly high... It's surprisingly low resistance to doing that. Oh. Is it gonna be that guy again? Boa Constrictor who finished digesting? What the fuck? That's right. Did you cheat? Are you cheating? Better not be cheating. You are irritatingly good at this. Or am I? Oh, impossible. I am the king of riddles, and you are just, well, you. <laughs> no offense. You're either very lucky, improbably bright, or more likely, you're cheating. But I would never level such an accusation in a culture where dueling is still an acceptable method of solving disputes. I'm the king of riddles, not the king of swordplay. You know, I wonder, perhaps it's your connection to Candle, because the answer is right. God, you get it, but you're not feeling violent. Huh, even better. It's as good a time as any to grant you this boon. Now, Take your new key and say, give me some room. I can tell you're enjoying these times that we spar. I take leave of you now, but don't go too far. The ergo is whispering. The hell does that mean? The hell does that mean? There's an item down there. Oh, I can just climb back up anyway. Uh oh.
No. That was the shortcut and everything. I just had to go down and open that first. Uh, okay. It's fine. It's time to go for a jog. Probably not even that long. All right, I'm back. Uh, let's try this again, but this time I open this first so that I can't get trapped. And I'd love to have a shortcut back, too, so that I can... get some upgrades installed. Both motivity and spending some souls. Got at least one level's worth, maybe two, if we get to hard stuff. Shot put. Shot put where? Put on a what? Dim ergo. Jin or so. There you go. I'm like, why does it sound like a Star Wars name? What? Okay. Well, at least none of that happened during the actual you die if you fall here level. Here it's by comparison a minor curiosity. Hello, weird dead end. Wow. This game really is beautiful. These are some wild visuals. Oop. You guys think he sees me. Oh, he got bored and stopped. A charge. I'm dying. Help. Stress me out a bit. I hear bad. <laughs> All right, notes. I should look around a little bit more when I clearly see an ambush location. They're not just gonna harmlessly fall behind me necessarily uh, and be a surprise fight. They might literally hurt me during the ambush, which I'm more used to being a threat around corners. Like they might swing at you, but they haven't been plunging attacks on me so far. But now I am dangerously close to dying and being set back who knows how far. Hard to tell what's destructible in this game, but worth a check. I don't totally trust that door either. Almost feels like someone's going to come bursting out of it. Hello. Meow. Ah. You like furries? Whoa! He's gone. I can't believe they did that. They, they <laughs> that was some clever misdirection. They set they set you up with this character that you're gonna want to look at, and you're wondering what her deal is. So you're looking up there and not looking down, so you walk right into the trap that's just in plain sight and in the middle of the room. That was an abrupt, an abrupt break. Alright, I could use a checkpoint. I could use a shortcut. I could use a heal deal. No, you can't make that jump. That's definitely too far. Not unless this game let you mantle. Red Lobster Inn. Take the essence of traditional dishes from Krat. Tasted as essence. For a second there, I thought it might be the, the music from... Uh... I briefly thought it might be the music from uh, Fear and Hunger, like the title screen. 
Anyway, I'm gonna run all the way back and spend my stuff instead of risking dying here, because I die in like one hit. I got the shortcut, that's helpful. Feels like it's been an eternity since I last had a checkpoint. And they're gone. I partly wondered whether or not they were going to stop me if I tried to turn back. How well can I turn back? Right, I fell in a hole, but that wasn't a point of no return, I just came back out. God, this is a gauntlet. How much do I have to replay if I die? Did I miss a checkpoint or a shortcut? This is a ton to have to redo. Like, obviously, I'm mostly just going to run past everything, so it's fine, but damn. <laughs> going to have to very carefully dodge a lot of swings and maybe take an entire healing item's worth of damage just on my way back. But I saw that room with a big guy and a bonus enemy at the very least and just thought, yep, yeah, I don't trust myself to get through this without getting hit. <laughs> Welcome to Hotel. I'll almost certainly die. It's just better if I don't risk losing stuff on a corpse run and just spend it now. Especially with my looming motivity crank. Bring that motivity up to A, so that's another 20 damage right there. It's a zero out of two. I guess you can you can you can upgrade the handle again to increase its scaling. Now I'm sad that I've upgraded three different things with the motivity cranks. I kind of thought it was going to be like, uh, oh, we need four next. Okay. I kind of thought it was going to be like previous cases where you, uh, in other in other Souls games, it's just essentially like just the, especially Dark Souls Two. It's like here's the part where you apply fire to your weapon, or or. A deck scaling to your weapon and so on. It's like a one-time modifier that changes the scaling or gives it an element. At least like you can keep spending motivity. I've got at least one quartz. And we might as well work our way towards this, yeah. These require three slots now. We have another tier, so time to read all these again. Enhances Legion arm attack when more than half of Legion remains. Increase the, which is usually the case because I don't use it very often. Which might lead to better st st stun. Increase the duration of effect based fable arts. Uh, I don't think I have any of those. Increase the destruction damage to enemies with a perfect guard successful. So that. Yeah, that. That's just like what I'm building towards basically. Enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks, also worth doing. Although I guess stagger might not be destruction, like it might not affect their actual white meter. It might just be uh, the fact that they might get, they might flinch. Increases the maximum number of pulse cell uses. Oh. Oh, I'm currently upgrading enhances the recovery effect of pulse cells, making my heal stronger, not have more. I'm gonna have to get this. We'll just go ahead and stop reading. I should have seven now, yep. Yeah, I misread it a little bit. We're upgrading the effectiveness of the healing items, not the number of them, but that's also very good to have. But I just increased the total anyway, so that's also good, cat. The cat does not like Pinocchio. I wonder if he just never likes Pinocchio because we're a, a scary puppet. Or if it's affected by your like morality of like how much you choose to lie or tell the truth. And that might affect things. Like the animal can sense your inner workings. You're changing somehow. That is how you are unique. You can go beyond a puppet's limits. I don't even know if Geppetto is aware of this. Learn from how humans behave, how they feel. Even lie if you must. Those lies may change you, may rewrite reality. 
Lies are a weapon used by humans who thrive in a world of deception. I'll use my power to help you. You're changing somehow. Thanks, it has pockets. Take another four again. Yep. And my stuff, my setups increased, increased uh, improved by another like 2%. 7,300. So I have more than enough to get the next level at least. Let's work our way up. I need... So I need 4340. God, we have 10 of those. Ergo 4500. I have 4,000 on me, put in hard, and it's not going to work right now. All right. We've improved our percentage once again. Might be worth switching this now to the better stamina one. Still, still heavy. We'll get there. Let alone things like this that are good, but way even more. This weight one, durability. see stamina recovery there we go i took off the one that's bonus damage versus puppets because it actually shouldn't be doing anything we're not fighting puppets Welcome to your stock has not changed all right well our weapon has become even stronger let's compare shall we 181 plus 96 201 plus 111 so it does like 15 more bonus damage and 20 more base damage. So it's like 35 stronger now. Granted, it's slower. Although, like always, and this is just a universal thing throughout this game, I do always wonder how the math works out. This is even a thing that comes up a bit in Monster Hunter, where there's so many weapon categories and you're kind of just given a, like, damage score... To wonder about uh, <laughs> how much damage does it do in what context what how's the scaling work I have a variety of hits does one of the specific attacks that I have do oh the red lobster that's actually decent signposting to tell you that that's the shortcut so the short so if I've got to that room I'd be at the shortcut but it was it wasn't worth risking at that point I was probably not gonna make it Yeah, you're given a damage value, but the question is, which of your attacks is that damage value applied to? Is it like, does it mean you literally do that much damage per swing with your weapon? And if it is meant to mean that at all, then which swings from the weapon is it talking about? Just went around the wrong way. Don't remember where I'm going necessarily. in particular I have two I have two forms on this weapon so if I do that exact amount of damage with a normal swing on my normal weapon or whatever if, if, if that even is how it works or however we're supposed to interpret whatever this, this, the number means when we're given a d damage number in these games uh, do I do less damage in this form it's one of those things where it's just like oops I opened the door over here I acknowledge that, like, essentially what you, what you need to do is you need to, like, sit there and, like, crunch numbers in theory craft and, like, hit some dummies a bunch and compare the numbers of the different things to get an idea of what it actually means. Because who knows? There you go. My running attack is my approach to those guys now. Like, this is a faster, 
attack with more range, so I assume it does less damage than the other form. And I assume that the damage stats are based on the other form and not on this form. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so we're back, and I have taken some chip damage, as opposed to being nearly dead. Bit of an improvement. Ow. Ah, it's a belly maw monster. Oh, it was so delayed. That's so rude at some point. <laughs> he ran all the way at me, arms reared back, then kind of lurched, and then still hadn't attacked, and then finally after pausing for a second, after kind of falling over, he finally swung. I'm like, what the fuck? It could be a lot just trying to interpret what counts as the attack exactly when you're fighting one of these guys. If I had just made slightly fewer mistakes, we wouldn't have had to run all the way back. Welcome to the Monad Charity House. Monad ha Charity House Guide. The Monad, Char Monad Charity House is also known by its nickname, the Rose Estate. That's much easier. Uh, originally, we were a charity organization for poor children, but today, with the Monad's family sponsorship, we've become a boarding school with a high quality welfare and education curriculum. Children can get stalker, workshop, workshop technician, and alchemist education according to their aptitude and career path. To this day, about 200 graduates are from the Monad Charity House and are actively working in different fields in Krat. For more details and sponsorship, please contact the Charity House manager. You look like a donkey in this picture. Stop drooling on my picture, Romeo. What? Well, that picture's not visible, whatever it is. Someone, someone made notes on it. Yep, I just had to make it here. <laughs> it happens. Still, I did end up getting beat up a bit, so I wasn't going to survive it, probably. So I was right to make the call. Just that if you have four knowledge, you could run ahead slightly and open the shortcut, but... I didn't. And it's mostly an unreasonable gambit to... In a, even if you... Even if I did register that it was the same building, the lobster place, it's still like a big gamble to be like, yeah, I can totally make it. Famously, Souls likes are not full of surprises or anything. This place has three entrances. Like, three labeled... Like signposted and lit and like and like like entrances like as if like that's like a normal way of getting in, which is kind of interesting. Looking good. Who'd have thought we'd make it this far? You've got all kinds of skills. Hey, everything went smooth as silk, and you know me, I don't impress easy. Sure, but I gotta ask, you really gonna take on the Black Rabbit Brotherhood by yourself? <laughs> Well, I thought we were working together, but you just kind of spilled the beans, didn't you? They really did just help out with a handful of, of random people in one alley, basically. Then sent me to fight the actual Nightmare Gauntlet with big enemies and gauntlets and big and some mini-bosses and- Oh! We're at a boss fight again. That's exciting. And unexpected how quickly that came up. Alright, well, let's go rest. Uh, we'll see if the big person respawns or not, but even if they do, I can probably run past just fine.
4,500 to level. I think I can do that. Yeah, I was only short by 500 and I have like 1,200 now. Might as well get that cashed in. Increase my chances against the fight. But I also got an extra heal. They're going for 4540. I even have more of this than before, too. But I still have like 1500, 2400, I think. I appreciate the fact. I'll use my power. And this is definitely a playtesting thing. They don't include your boss souls in their c calculation of how many total souls you have on hand. Which is good. That'd be annoying. Doesn't really increase my chance of, of success because it's just keep me dealing with my weight class, but I do need to be on my capacity. I should have probably leveled Vigor actually to keep it up with the capacity. My motivity is probably a little high for right now. But all four of these are probably worth leveling and these two are probably just going to be completely ignored. We'll see how it goes. Either way, stuff is spent. No quest indicators anywhere. Well, this was a relatively brief chapter, if we are in fact at the final boss and then it ends. Bit of a surprise. Although it's pretty, it is kind of exciting to start, if we do start having like a boss every episode or something. So, this will be interesting. Uh, I think every consecutive boss fight so far, I have had a different move set, which is a little stressful. But ultimately, bosses, or at least the way I'm handling bosses, more heavily. Ooh, secret! The way I'm fighting bosses so far mo more heavily focuses on. Oh, hello. On. Uh, the parrying system anyway, so it's kind of just a different gameplay avenue anyway. But this might screw me up a bit in that I am pretty slow now with this weapon, so I have to be really sure of my openings, but it probably is really impactful. I thought there were no more survivors, but you, you're new. I do love a bit of commerce, but the bosses are really strict about who I'm allowed to sell to. Are you with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood? I can't tell what's real and what's fake, to be honest. Ah, my job is selling stuff, not detecting forgeries. If it's fake, you'll be the one to get punished, not me. <laughs> it's technically my chance to lie. <clears throat> saw two, saw blade, sharp pipe. Carcass body fluid bubble? Gross. I guess that's what they're called as carcasses. Bramble curved short blade. Someday. Hmm. These aren't very expensive, so I assume these are temporary buffs, not the ones that you apply to your weapon. But I could be wrong. I don't know, I can't quite tell if it's single use or if it's the one that you apply to your thingy. Shot put's also throwable. Yeah, I don't care about most of these things. I definitely really wish that the, he had either a crescent, a moon crescent, or a quartz. And so I'm sad he doesn't have either of those. This is expensive, but I might as well s see if I can afford it. I can't. 3,800 is not very much. Shit. Or it's too much. So I only have enough for... not that. 
1,500. Yeah, so 2,400. Still short by a fair amount. And these sell for so little that I'd have to like go through my entire stock of certain types of items just to try to make it. Hmm. Fable Catalyst. They don't sell for very much. Hmm. I might have to commit just because I'm worried. I might be making a mistake here, but I'm a little worried that... Killing the boss might once again proceed the story in a way where I lose stuff. Okay, yeah, the abrasives are the one-off items, not the ones you equip, because they were just in here. The bosses work hard too, you know. Enjoy the black market collection. I can probably sell my abrasives then, because I don't really think I'll use them. I already have the ability to do them in the other way. This is throwable. Non-elemental sort of rando throwables are probably some of the stuff I'm least likely to use. To use. Don't use the boss one. Are these are the ones in storage because I have so many of them. I don't think I'm going to use the Fable Catalysts. There we go. Just wanted to make sure I nabbed that first. Someday. The snowflakes shining white in the night sky can comfort me as I wait for you alone in the dark, waiting for a departed lover. Someday. Singing of yearning far away to reach the stars. <laughs> Stuff's equipped like normal, have a bonus heal, I'm Stwong. It's just, oh, we can, I can just avoid aggroing altogether if I go this way. It's kind of interesting having boss chambers be so telegraphed by these lights. On one hand, ease of use on a, in a way, but also like, I'm never surprised by a boss. <laughs> Not really, except for the NPCs that are mad at me. Once again, why is there ever a door I can't open? <laughs> So I was right. Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing like my brother. Ow. Boop. Ow. Ah! It's a gap closer. Ah! Just thought I'd take every hit for fun. Okay. Um. Ah! 
God, I'm so slow I can't hit her. Is that a brief chance to attack from behind? Okay. Damn. Come on. God damn it. Yeah, you know, I keep thinking, oh, well, my goal is to hit him with the heavy attack, not uh, do as much damage as possible. I just want to trigger the stagger, so I should just hit him with an easy one. And then that is not how that works. <laughs> you do have to charge. Oh, they're here this time. You do have to charge the attack or it doesn't trigger the white, which is frustrating. I've made that mistake a few times now. Okay, this game's definitely bugged. Between tutorials and dialogue like that, stuff definitely isn't triggering when it's supposed to, and it's triggering like way later. That makes sense. All right, let's just try fast mode. This car slow mode might be kind of a lost cause. Okay, if a single fucking attack could land, Jesus Christ. I'm having a rough time. Every time I swung back, even in, an, in my extended state where I have a longer weapon, I just I can't respond. He has such a long weapon with knockback that I literally can't hit him back. That's brutal. I'm getting some of the counter timing down though, but yeah, that was br that was just a brutal death because he he just has very long combos and he kind of traps you. So unless you physically run away, you can't really heal. Because I've already I've already experienced how well he can catch you. Seems like your current blue status is saved, so I still have something to spend to transform at least when I once I recover my body. Let's give myself some more space. Okay. Just missed every single one. <sighs> okay. Brutal. If anything, it's, it's almost a blessing when he does that one spinning combo because it's so regular. It's like three or four really regular interval hits than one delayed one, which I don't think I've ever hit the delayed one at the correct timing yet, but I do usually block it at least. But there's uh, there's other combos that I'm, I have less memorized. If I don't hit him enough, I'll lose my blue and not be able to transform, which will be a little rough because I seem to be really slow to the point where it's kind of hard to respond to this guy otherwise. I 
There we go. That's new. Oh my god. There we go. I didn't get to do my combo! Uh oh, I did too much health damage, now there's multiple enemies. I should have expected this, I kind of did, honestly. But I saw an opening and tried to do as much damage as possible. Okay, well that's bad. God, he tracks you while you're getting up. Oh, this is a shit show. We counterintuitively don't want to damage him too much. Because he'll just summon more enemies. Please target her, Jesus. Alright. I just really want to be able to mash a little bit through these weaker enemies. Because <laughs> I have to treat them all as, as bosses and memorize all their movesets. Jesus. God, I cannot control the situation. God, I can barely even hit him. The fact that they attack at the same time. Jesus. <laughs> when do I hit her? Oh my god, she's always out of range. She's pissing me off. There's another guy? I didn't even do damage. Did I? Why'd you come in? Oh, they did not lose health very quickly either. It's easier to fight literally everyone but the... Oh god. That was a coordinated move that they do. Hit her, it's pissing me off. Ooh. Come on, so close. Finish her off. Ooh. Well, back to this mess. Combo no whammies. Damn 
damn you. You'll pay for that. I like how they just throw a smoke grenade down and magically I just disappear for the duration of that scene. <laughs> like, what? Resplendent Ergo Chunk. Yeah, they wouldn't drop any upgrade because they're just humans I didn't physically even kill. But it's, it's funny that I just sat that out at that point. I'm like, eh, I'll be fine. I'll just let them run off. Who cares? I basically just watched. There we go. We got there eventually. God, there were <laughs> a few rough enemies to just be able to land hits on. They're kicking my ass. I was definitely starting to get the main guy down, but also, like, I kind of got really lucky there at the end, where I managed to actually find an opening to use my entire Y combo. Oh, my Fable. Which is a surprise. I didn't really necessarily fully plan it out. Like, it's kind of, I, got, I just kind of got lucky and actually got to spend it, and that's a very strong combo. Welcome to Hotel. Tell more things! No. You disappoint me. At the house of Anini, even. I always welcome friends. You know, changes among these characters. I know my way around. A way. Don't have those. Don't have those. It was called Resplendent, so it probably was just a lot. Yeah, 3k. It's not amazing, but I did get the souls that you get from the kill itself, so it's not that big of a deal. Cat. A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Show me. Nothing new here. People have no idea. People are mostly not doing anything new. Hmm. The gold statue stands out a bit. I don't know why I clicked on this without checking my quartz. I meant to talk to him. You're back. The Malam district was as grim as we feared, was it not? But with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood out of the picture, we can focus elsewhere. And why not strike at the root of the problem? The King of Puppets Lair is on Rosa Isabel Street. Perhaps the puppet frenzy will come to an end if we can take down their king. Go to Antonia and get the key to Rosa Isabel Street. I already let her know you'll be coming by. I always remember these favors you've done for me. Though it pains me to send someone so precious into such peril. The city... You went and created a Superman. The city asked me... No. No new options there. At least they were nice enough to give me a decent chunk of experience. It's like 1300? I can get up to 4100, so I can't do another one yet. But they gave me almost three levels, which is pretty good. She must. She has new dialogue that maybe was triggered by me. No, oh, it's new talk option probably. Hurry up! I heard from Geppetto. Rosa Isabel Street is ever so dangerous. I'm told. I hoped we wouldn't have to unlock the passage there, but if we want to stop this disaster once and for all, I fear we've no choice. Geppetto and I care about you very much, you know. 
stay safe for both of us. I feel like my time is slowly coming to an end. However, it's a nice feeling to know that someone waits for you, that someone cares. Please take care out there. Oh, there it is. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me company. Okay, yeah, so she had new dialogue after Geppetto. The, so now I can open the door over there to get to a new zone, which has been a looming thing. But this place still has something going on. I don't want to forget about that. There was still something forward over here. Malum District Town Hall has some kind of portrait icon. But what? Because as per usual, I went and didn't go inside and focused on what I was doing. There's probably follow up for what the f with the fox. So they wanted me to go in here, liar. So I was right to anticipate the idea that this might be like a nothing storyline. Oh, that guy's. Neck hole is full of all sorts of things. So, as I kind of expected, there wasn't really a choice to lie, except for maybe that one merchant. And aside from that, it was just... You get this one medallion to, to, to pretend you're a rabbit, supposedly, but then you just walk in and fight the rabbit boss fight regardless. Like, there was no... There was no sleuthing or black market. I guess that was... I guess it was the one store, but... Yeah. Somehow, the moment the signposting started, I kind of anticipated that it wouldn't be nearly as mechanically intensive as it sounded like, because it sounded like you might be infiltrating an organization optionally, and I'm like, I, th I, th I kind of think they're not going to do that, and that's exactly what happened. It was just, fi finish this zone full of what I guess are called the carcasses, the blue blood enemies, and then at the end, you fight the rabbits regardless. All puppets will die. Also, anyone who messes with the Black, bl br black Rabbit Brotherhood. It's their ledger. Sale of 10 ergo complete. I like our old broker man because he always pays well. But when he's in a hurry, it's hard to secure the ergo he needs. Sometimes I wonder if he devours it or something. What does he need ergo for? Does he really eat it? No scribbling in the ledger, kid. So it's all the different characters all interacting. Of the four brother, of the four siblings. And probably the daughter. Or the probably the, the kid. The kid's sister is the one that's, that keeps intruding. The alchemists are asking, asking for more gold coin fruit. It's not easy to get, so this could be a problem. I think the hotel guys are slowly catching on to what's going on. We can physically clash with them, but that's a last resort. Our sibling's safety comes first. Ah, how touching, bro. Shut up. Acquired five ergo. I'm really close to the end of this job selling corpses. Just a bit more and I'll have enough to escape this blasted city. The proposal from the alchemist is tempting, but I'm running short on ergo and I'm not sure about it. Think about an expedition to the barren swamp. Give me new parts if you go to, out of town. A dress for me, a gun for, and a weapon for me. This is not your journal, dumbasses. So they're always quipping with each other and arguing and, and adding onto each other's notes. Oh, you're going in to get something? Oh, you can add something for me. Please. I figure this is probably a dead end, their HQ. But there's probably- Oh, of course! There's probably something to do with the fox and the cat. Since they wanted me to get them here. They were coming here for the treasure. Hmm, big elevator. But there's also always the chance that you go this way for one st for one chunk of the story and you go through that door they just opened for another chunk of the story and that's like an actual honest god split and where you can go would be a change of pace. Hey, check this out. Looks like you, sort of, from a certain angle. You know, if you squint. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? With the nose and the... Right? 
portrait of a boy. Hmm. What if they knew me? What if they knew the boy that I was that I'm a copy of? I think we are doing the storyline then where Geppetto made a puppet to uh, impersonate the boy he lost. And maybe he was a member of the Black Brother Black Rabbit Brotherhood? This month's trend, stalker masks. Why the stalkers start wearing animal masks? According to city historians, it was customary to wear animal masks in ancient Krat. Everyone knows that the origins of Krat were Midwest Fur Fest 2025, when the world ended. It was one of the rituals to show off one's life when one fought the legendary rock titans. Believe it or not, but this legend is an inspiration of today's stalkers. It's not just for defense and fashion, but also for ranks that show off one's abilities. The link between rank and animal masks isn't clear, but mostly the powerful ones choose their preferred mask first. Perhaps there might even be newbies forced to wear silly masks chosen by their seniors. In these troubled times of the petrification disease, how about refreshing your mind with an energetic stalker mask? Choose a soul animal to your liking. Various fashionable stalker masks await you. P.S. This item includes a spore filter to protect against the petrification disease patented for the workshop. Hey bro, HQ is toast, so how about a black leopard mask? The workshop's toast too. Why would they make it? Hmm. So if nothing else, the mask does serve one purpose, which is that it's, it is PPE. Which is funny, because I talked about earlier in this playthrough that fursuit heads are not PPE. But they are here. Specifically, they have a filter for the petrification disease. So it keeps those people safe. Going up. And a loading screen. Those two were sure that their treasure vault had money. Expect to see them again. Well, that's unnerving. You have no idea how happy I am to see you, Mr. Stalker. Hello. It's a relief to see you. I I'll get straight to the point. I found the gold coin tree. Who knew it was right beside us? But there's a problem. When I tried to, to, to pick the gold coin fruit, it, it resisted me. I, I couldn't even get close. It actually burned me. It's probably because I have the petrification disease. P -p Pathetic, yeah. So close yet so far. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. I heard the alchemists made a device capable of fully utilizing gold coin fruit. I ignored it, assuming it was just a legend. You hear all sorts of wild tales about alchemists. Now that I know gold coin fruit actually exists, though, perhaps it's all true. Interact with the Saint Test statue at the Grand Exhibition. You might be able to use the other powers of the gold coin fruit. I, I might look urbane now, but I, I, I used to be a farmer. I I'm, I'm also interested in growing trees. I, I heard about a vendor who sells plant alchemy boosters. They might work on this tree, too. If you come across such boosters, bring them to the tree. I wasn't sure who he was at first. I was like, oh, it's the guy who gave me the cube. I briefly thought it was the guy that went, that went nuts and attacked me. And, so, and this room was suspiciously large, like it was ready for a fight. Which might still happen. But it did make me think he might attack. I never 
expected to see the gold coin tree in a place like this. You can harvest gold coin fruit at set times from the gold coin tree. The fruit is used in several different places. Use boosters to speed up its growth. I don't like the idea of it having real-time timers. I don't want real-life timers in my video games, usually. Zero out of eight. So it'll be fruit. It'll be ripe in ten minutes. Reset level, reset P organs, reset legion arm. Interesting. So the gold tree, the gold coin tree lets you respec. And then I guess we can probably sell gold coin fruit to that guy for some kind of reward. Were the rabbits not the ones looking for gold coin? Maybe they weren't. I was gonna say it's really goofy. It was just if it was just in their backyard. What is this? What? <laughs> okay, so the gold coin tree is at Hotel Crot. That's very goofy. <laughs> Well, now I don't have to go on a whole expedition to get here, I guess. So that's nice. Bizarre, though. Stalker, please. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. Star fragments I don't really want, and then different types of cubes to have. Oops. Temporarily restores HP. That's the one that I already have access to, but doesn't seem to work or do shit. Increases max stamina over a set period of time. Temporarily rest so restores Spectre HP. Is that my summon? Increases Fable's charge amount for a set period of time while attacking. Temporarily restores Legion. Explodes when Spectre is hit. Reduces Spectre's received damage for a set period of time. Increases resistance to all status ailments. Increases Spectre's destruction power for a set period of time. Generates Spectre's electric blitz attack for a set period of time. Fire attack. For a set period of time, Spectre avoids death once and HP is restored. Generates acid. Spectre attracts enemies' attention for a set period of time. Reduces damage received. Well, if I'm ever going to use a Spectre, that seems to be like the one to use, because that one makes them... Uh, tank for me, which would be the goal. I tried using a recovery whetstone and it felt like it didn't do anything. Okay, well... I feel better about this whole system now, having a real-time timer and other nonsense that I don't want to see in a game like this. Just because it seems to all latch into a whole system I'm not using, which is summons. So it's it's sur pretty superfluous. It doesn't really attach to anything else. Let's see. They cost a set amount. I might as well give him the stone, the coins because he wants them. If I use a Spectre, I want the Provocation Witch Stone probably because I want it to be able to actually tank. Be equipped in the cube and be used with special effect. You can equip a wish, wish stone to the cube through a Zhangzhou or a Stargazer. Using a cube wishes... Using a cube uses up a wish stone, but it recharges in storage when you revive or visit a Stargazer. But I used a recovery wish stone and now I don't have any. I don't, I don't understand this system. It's very strange. They might be saying that the cube recharges, but that's weird because never it wasn't even implied to begin with that the cube runs out of capacity or anything. I don't know. 
It, the way that they're presented makes it sound like your cubes, the witch stone in your cube, rechart like can be used, but then it recharges when you rest. But then I ha but I used that witch stone in the previous boss fight, the previous previous one, so it's had more than more than enough time to recharge, and it hasn't, so it doesn't recharge. I think they are consumables after all. It's just very strangely explained. Quartz. Ooh. I thought the glowing thing was an item for a second there. Alright, anything else? Let's see. Oh, can't do the same row again. Just looking at tier 3 again. Lowers weapon durability consumption when weight increases. Uh, use wish stones quickly. Charge fable when reviving. I guess when I come back to life, I have Fable. That's not the worst thing ever. Naturally recovers durability of inactive weapons. So if I'm not currently using a weapon, it regrows its durability, kind of like how in Overwatch the weapon you're not using reloads, which is kind of neat. But I don't have weapon. I don't use weapon swapping. Reduces the prices at item shops. Enhances the charge effect of Legion magazine. Increases the amount of gold coin fruit on the gold coin tree. Here's the amount of ergo gain from limiting enemies. To level faster again, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep putting my points towards that. Let's see, there was the one that makes me better at increases destruction damage when enemies perfect gauge. Yeah, I want my perfect guard to be strong. If I'm gonna work for it, I want it to be impactful. So if I can make it disproportionately impactful, then I don't have to earn it as hard. This portrait. I remember it fondly. Dad? I thought it was lost forever. I had no idea the Black Rabbit Brotherhood had stolen it. To think that you... You have brought it back to me. Forgive a foolish old man his memories. Memories of a happier time, my son. I know just where to hang it in the hotel. Clap? Wait, that's... That feels like a weird gesture in this context. The city of... Same as before. You cannot use this right now. What does that mean? And how do I use the weird bird thing? Either. What does that mean, either? I have additional follow-up questions. Oh well. The new weapon has not been a disaster, but it admittedly is inc so incredibly slow in its non-extended form that I'm a little afraid to use it. Maybe when I fight a proper monster boss fight again, it'll come in handy again. But as it stands, I didn't get as much use as I wanted out of the whole trying to hit people with lightning and hoping that the increased stagger would actually help me out. But getting that stagger state against boss fights is super helpful. It's just usually they're big monsters and the humans are, are tougher because they're so much faster. When weapon durability falls to zero, weapon cannot be repaired with a grinder, and your attack decreases. Okay, so I don't know what was up before, like an episode or two ago, when it dropped to zero during a boss fight, and then I just repaired it. Makes me almost wonder if they patched it and removed that, that limitation, because it was too frustrating or something, but then forgot to change the text saying that that's how it worked. That, that's a goofy interpretation, though. Sun's up. Rosa Isabel Street, the entertainment district. You might call it extravagant. Operas, operettas, street concerts, all running 24 7. Adelina Corday, the singer in the red dress. Oh, she was the most famous of them all. The legendary Prima Donna. Mm, well, I'm not sure if she's still alive, so while the past tense makes sense, it's... Yeah, it's getting a little depressing. 
We return to the early game where luggage and charred horses block my path, which is just so nonsensical. Step over it, loser. <laughs> Someone seems to be playing an instrument upstairs, but kind of upsettingly. Yeah, the gold so the gold tree is just continuously in the corner now. So a new one becomes ripe every 10 minutes. And they're just continually showed in the top right corner along with my souls? Like that's weird, right? It feels like a relatively Oop. The witch towers, the witch's tower and princess. The final performance by Adelina, the greatest prima donna. Experience their passionate stories. Maybe I'm misinterpreting something, but it feels like a super ignorable side piece of content. Like it's just like a a system you can engage with if you want to, but it's not like a progression system. It seems to just be a, a disposable currency. So it being shown on the top corner of my screen at all times, like my souls, is super weird. Like my ergo. Because it doesn't fill a similar role as ergo. There's a number of other items I collect that aren't shown there. I see. <coughs> ah. We're back to killing puppets. So time to use my, pup my puppet gear. It's been a while. Not my proudest moment. Yeah, there we go. Let's get comfy. The Witch's Tower and Princess poster. The Witch's Tower and Princess. The comedy praised by audience and critics alike. The Estella Opera House will be presenting its grand finale. It's the last work of the best writer of Crot, Copelius Com Compellen. <laughs> okay. As far as the last performance of red actress Adelina Corday, the greatest prima donna of our time. The greatest adventure of an evil witch, a gallant knight, and a beautiful princess awaits you. Come join an unforgettable experience of laughter, tears, and thrills. Oh. Uh, who are you? Ah, oh, my stalker friend. I was worried the puppets had come back. They're demons. They won't give us a moment's peace. Even an elderly lady like me. They wouldn't even let the dead rest if they had the petrification disease. Drives a lady to drink, it does. Which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. There's a... there's a wine called La Blaiouille. When I was younger, they called it the Ruby of the Heavens. I'm sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lorenzini Arcade. You're an enterprising lad. Bring it to me and I'll give you something nice in return. La Blaiwi. Not completely out there in pronunciation. I was worried there'd be like a th 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 in there somehow. <laughs> or just something truly surprising. Gotta keep an eye out for interactive windows. Although it seems like when you get an item that, so that can be turned into someone, it looks like it gets added to your list of teleport spots regardless. Because the whistle indicated 
that I should go to that child, and I hadn't found the child specifically. But these other characters that I have found, like, you're, like you're meant to find the character, then the item, but they are nice about it, and gesture at the, at the what region the character's in if you find a plot item and don't know what it's for. Which is appreciated. Don't just... Otherwise, if you missed it, you're like, ah, time to brute force search the entire game, I guess? For some admittedly relatively subtle windows? Like, the game has... Whew! That made me nervous. Somewhat nerve- somewhat nerve-wrackingly, the game does have windows that glow in the same way, but don't have a silhouette in them, and the, the difference is kind of subtle. They're kind of all over the place, which can be a little frustrating. Well, we're not going this way. Oh, god. Overheat meter. Yep, Rosa Isabella Street's print main entrance is, uh, Inferno. Gaspapad. Gas Gaspapt? Gaspapt. I don't know. It is somewhat preferable that Bloodborne came up with the incense. So they're like, ah, oh, there's these weird pink incenses that are burned outside of the doors because it it wards the monsters away is the lore, but in gameplay terms it means that there's a nice little strangely colored little incense burner in front of uh, windows that have characters in them for you to meet. So it helps you find them, because they stand out from the window themselves. Artist Doodle. Puppets are the most beautiful of beings. Even their human masters are incomplete beings in comparison. Creations more perfect than their creator. The creator who created them. Which would you praise more? Uh, why is there a weird little pit dead end here? Is this bridge gonna collapse on me? I'm just not trusting. Is how it goes. Which is perhaps the best because none of them can be trusted. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Bye! Uh, oh, that's a lot of enemies. Beep. I admittedly did not see their attack come out. It's a bit of a problem for me. It kind of looked like they were like pulling pins on grenades or something and they were about to charge me an attack. But since I attacked them already, we don't we don't get to see it out play out yet, which is a problem because they will play out in the middle of a chaotic fight now and be a surprise. Special report: Foreigner's confession. The alchemist paved the way for Krat's golden age, and no one denies that fact. But what if instead of gold, they were, they were to cause an unprecedented disaster? Being a reporter, I received a pr a surprising message from an informant who was once an alchemist himself. It's about a stranger from across the ocean, an alchemist from the Far East, who was once famous in Krat. <laughs> Stop. He learned of the group's secrets and quit. He now uses a different identity out of fear for his safety. The relic of Trisme <laughs> Trismegistus is not just a simple ergo mine. That place is dangerous. My source claimed that the alchemists have an ulterior motive, one not for the benefit of the city, and that they have a very risky plan involving Ergo. The conspiracy theory about how hundreds of people can die sounded preposterous, but the evidence provided had a surprising amount of credibility to it. So, as a reporter, I spent months with, with the informer and was able to see the dark side of Krat. I intend to do- I intend to deliver my report for the benefit of the citizens. The rest is severely damaged. Publication of this text was banned for spreading false information and promoting social unrest. Additionally, reporter Medoro has been suspended indefinitely from our newspaper. We apologize this isn't for any trouble. So it's definitely true. In real life, when that kind of thing happens, it's because they're lying, and they're spreading bullshit, and they're bad for the public. 
and they're being fired for genuinely just being bad employees. That thing survived a hit? Why are the scary babies so durable? In real life, it's always bullshit, but in fiction, it's always true. That's how this works. <laughs> you, you almost never invent a conspiracy for it to be not true in fiction. I imagine what they just said was hinting at whatever was going on earlier when we saw... Go up first to see if I can... This might be a shortcut that I saw earlier. Yeah, when we go, when we beat three bosses, we got a hint of what this might be, I think. That was probably it, was the, uh, the hint we got of the three bosses combining into some kind of thing. So I'd be like, <laughs> finally, we've done it. <laughs> My evil plan. No, not the evil plan. Oh my god, these are some really late up uh, tutorials. I don't know what they're, what the, what's up with that. Tutorials were activating normally at the beginning of the playthrough, and then they seem to stop for a while, and now they're telling me about all the mechanics that I've already unlocked, but I don't think they- I don't remember them necessarily generating that tutorial before. Sawblade is a weird thing to keep behind the counter at a hotel. Am I now where the thing was that I sent down earlier? Probably. Yep, this is where it was. So both paths lead here. Check backwards first. There we go. Curtis Pub? Lyric Pug? Pub, bar, and grill. It's really hard to read. I can't tell what that font. It's really hard to read that. Ah! Guns exist. This is cheating. Okay, these guys are kind of durable. Oh god! At first, I thought it was a shot put because he was spinning, and it kind of is, but it's a freaking grenade shot put, which is rude. to ask you to chill. So I take it this is the heavily fortified front door or I take the side path that's safer. As it looks right now I might be able to make the approach reasonably but it's not going to be the easiest thing. They're all ranged. Ow. Yep, no, there's a lot of ones. There's a lot of ones. Please engage me in melee, losers. You fools. Ah! I got range screwed. Screwed by range. I've got too much of it. There we go. Well, that's one down. Don't look at me. Why can't you guys have friendly fire? It's just polite. Oh, what did I even? Man. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Yep, there are two attacks staggering like that's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, well now you're in trouble. What a rude boy. Dancer's curved sword. 
That definitely sounds like a dex weapon. And this looks like a dead end. Sounds like we can hear that one performer. And you can't even open it from this side. They give you a chance to open it from the side and maybe approach from closer up and maybe get drop on some of them. But really, it's just a chance to get the dancer weapon, I guess. The fact that I can't get that because I won't step over one box is fucking absurd. This is so silly. Something's definitely gonna happen, right? We're so easily foiled by extremely movable luggage. It's such a goofy way to block us off throughout the game. Alright guys, come and get me. Oh, what a beautiful puppet you are. I can hear your springs even if you try to hide them. Musicians have keen ears, you know. Would you like to sing for me like your friends? I have a feeling the sound of your cries will be especially sweet. Let's have an encore performance of pain for the red actress Adelina Corday. Oh shit. Uh oh. I this performance to my sister Adelina. Oh. Uh One second, ma'am. You're not doing great. You're having a bad time. Oops, he accidentally held block two. Sorry. He really came after me, though. Crescent Moon, don't care about that. White Lady's Locket. A small locket that was given as a commemorative token. It holds a portrait of a beautiful woman in red. The sisters exchanged lockets as a sign of their friendship. The younger sister was pleased. To stand again. To stand always on the stage of our dreams together. Your loving sister, Adelina. That's sad. So it sounds like she's already dead. I'm only finding this side of doors lately. She had a brutal start to that fight where I just spent all my resources and she was like already two-thirds dead. Rose Estate Incident left as a mystery. The city of Krat decided to put an indefinite stop to the investigation of the disaster that took place in the Monat Charity House known as the Rose Estate. This was to prevent chaos caused by the large-scale spreading of the petrification disease. There have been no confirmed survivors so far. The petrification disease is a deadly epidemic, but this Massive spread is unprecedented. The quarantine authorities surmise that the petrification disease caused the novel mutation. 
the Monat Charity House, once a boarding school for kids from the slums, has until recently been home to the founding Monat family, many students and refugees. The leader of the alchemists, Valencius Monat, has been confirmed to have passed during this catastrophe, and this will take a toll on the alchemists. Is this the back door thing? I'm historically very bad at parsing the lore of games. So if you're wondering about my lack of comment on some of these things, it's because I just, I don't... It's a bunch of names that I'm not good at memorizing and keeping track of all the factions and relations while I'm also then playing the game. So when I'm, if you spend 90% of the game navigating levels and fighting bosses and worrying about your stamina and your mobility and your dodge timing and so on, it's kind of hard to then like switch gears and be like, oh yeah, the Monat, I remember, definitely. So if you wonder about lack of comment about stuff, it's sometimes that. I think a lot of people don't really follow the stuff though, because there's entire YouTube channels dedicated to exploring, explaining the lore and and what the story and what you and why you should care about stuff in these games. So I'm better at remembering what characters I meet act like and say and their personalities, but it's much more of a struggle to be just dumped to be a text what the larger lore is and have to like memorize the factions and their, and their relationships in order to understand what the implication is of what's being said to you. Otherwise, it kind of comes out as noise. There's an item back there. But how? Here we go. That's very goofy. My hints that there must be a way in was the fact that there was no way in visibly anywhere. There's no drop-off point, no ladder, that door didn't look like it opens. It's like there must be a way to get there then. Yeah, I think there's just some people that really attach to the lore and some people that don't. Like, Toaster talks about Elden Ring as a story that's full of earth-shattering revelations, and I was like, huh? <laughs> when, when were those? Because all the data points were so spread out over the dozens and dozens of hours of game that I'm like, how did you get that on your first run? I feel like you, through exposure you might be able to get there after X number of runs or something, but the first time? Really? I'll use my power to help you. Yes, please. Only one. Hmm. I have enough though. Fifty six hundred. There's three K right there. Probably not enough, because he probably has change. Oops, required was 5,400. 5,600 was how much I had. I read that and then mixed them up. Let's get these caught up a bit. Someday. Granted, I don't know if I'm ready, really ready to stop here for that long right now.
Ergo is whispering. That had a more direct call out. Okay. They talked about Geppetto wants me to stay a good boy. Whereas the our leveling character talks about uh lying as being a tool of humans. Who wish to pay me tribute? No. <laughs> So maybe you come, become more human the more you lie? And listening to music is also a human activity? And that's how this all comes together? Every time I go back to town, I, I get stuck back in sword mode. Oh, huh. you're walking about in a place like this. You must be a stalker. Can I ask you a favor? My wife's body lies on Rosa Isabel Street. There was a fire, and I couldn't reach her through the flames. I know she's gone, but I hate to think of her just lying there. Would you bring me her belongings? Then I'd have something to remember her by. <sighs> Thank you. Small kindnesses like this give me something to cling to. Her body is on Rosa Isabel Street. She used to look so beautiful in her black dress. I miss her so much. Every day is harder than the last. Please, bring me her belongings. You must be some kind of warrior, what with your giant human-sized sword. There's something very funny about how people... Geppetto wants me to be a good boy, and my objective is to fetch. Okay, well, the dog mask fits. So I, I, I assume everyone is lying all the time in video games, pretty much, and so, even though it's not always actionable. Hi guys. So I'm inclined to think that, uh, either he doesn't care about his wife's death. And simply wants her belongings because they're valuable. Or, or have some other value. That they're useful in some way, if not overtly just valuable. You would not expect somebody that's crawling around on the floor to be able to spike you like a volleyball that hard and do that much damage, but damn. There's boss fights that don't do that much damage. Although most of them don't. I've talked about before about how the regular enemies in this game consistently do more damage than the boss fights because the boss fights are meant to be this big intense thing and if they actually killed you in two hits then... Well, that would get frustrating. Oh, you stopped approaching. Look how much damage I took from a rock! Look back at how much damage I took from getting hit by that giant buster sword in the last boss fight. It would be per hit. And then look at how much damage I took from that rock. It's very funny. Ooh! Just like in Bloodborne, there- this- and, uh, and Monster Hunter, this thing has transformation attacks. I transformed mid-combo, so it actually did an attack to transform instead of just transforming. I think jumping in that hole might go somewhere, but I wanted to see if this was a dead end or what's going on. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay. Oh, still alive. Stop it. <laughs> Ooh, it's always a surprise when something actually can just take a big hit. I keep getting... I keep getting vivids. Aren't these vivids worth 3k? Haha, uh -huh, I came up here and now you can't get me. Yeah, so this is the story. It's all in this direction. Oh, those ones aren't breakable. I can't jump down. Yep, it's a bomb. I was right about that much. Okay, so jumping down that hole must be some kind of dead end. Might as well check it before I move on. Also, I've gone through four heals already and could really use the re just refreshing at this point. God damn it. And all these enemies are just low enough to the ground to be hard to hit. Oh. Oh god. Come on. I've already done one of these here. How am I missing it now? Gotta hug my right side. Or else. Ow. What is this upper body strength? I mean, they're they're puppets. They're yeah, the answer is that they don't even have muscles. Where the hell are we now? like a whole secret what a thrill ah this took me back here This guy's gonna kick my ass. Whoo! <laughs> Blender mode. Jesus. That's the correct way to spin to make it look cool. The other way is dumb. Like me. The way that I can just store up some resources and just be a terror at the next enemy is very funny. It means that if they're sufficiently spaced out, these like mini boss style enemies just get melted. Quartz! And this was all worth it! It has like a glow like I'm supposed to go there. And that quartz is perfectly timed for an end of session, let's go do a little level up, and then quit. Bit. Got it.
Let's go unlock stronger healing items. I think this is the third one. My upgrades are going to get much more spread out if they require me to get three per one, because that means they have to be three different categories every time. My P organ is activated. <laughs> Alright, can't do that one. Can't do that one. We can do these last two. What's down here? Reduces item prices. Legion magazine effect enhanced too. I don't really want any of those. What are these again? Lowers weapon durability consumption when weight increases. Wish don't use wish stones quickly. Fable upon reviving. Gradually restores the durability of inactivated of inactive equipped weapons. Don't care about that. All right, let's go back then. Lowers the stamina consumption of all actions when pulse cells are discharged. It's a good. That's a good bounce back mechanic. Lowers your ability of dodge and dash. Reduces the stamina consumed to dash. That's just running. I don't usually have to run during boss fights. Lowers the region. Lowers the legion consumption of legion arms when HP is low. I, I still underutilize legion. I'm trying to use it against boss fights to hopefully to establish a thunder status, a lightning status to hopefully help with stagger. Repairing faster. Lowers stamina consumption of charge attacks. There we go. That one makes sense because I use charge attacks all the time. And now I have that and I have enhanced recovery effect on pulse cells. So now every heal is stronger. And having killed a few more, gotten a few thousand more, there's a good chance that I can also level again. I'll use my See what the math is. No! <laughs> 26 plus 22 is 48, and I need 86. So it's not happening. And I am sad. I don't think I got anything else new. Nope. Slightly anticlimactic there, but... Okay, is that what I've been thinking about? Radiant Ergo is only 500 then. Vivid Ergo. Okay, Vivid Ergo is only 300. Vivid Ergo sucks. Okay. Listen, they have a bunch of resplendent, vivid, radiant... Like, they're not helpful. Dim is obviously the bad one, but everything else is so vaguely... They're basically synonyms with each other, so it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I keep I keep thinking, like, did I just pick up another 3,000 one again? Because I keep thinking that it might be the same one that we got from the boss fight. But it is not. Oh well. Plenty of progress. We have not gotten stuck yet. Every boss fight's going down in like three or four attempts so far. Even kind of hopeless ones, like... That mob of rabbits. That guy started comboing me down immediately a couple times, but I think I did ultimately beat him in four attempts. Maybe five. I feel like there was one attempt that was the one that had that where I, I made it to the rogue lady showing up. And so I had to fight the sister and him. And that was the the learning one. And then I got trampled a couple times. But I think the the next attempt, I think the fourth attempt was the one where I summoned two of them at the same time. So that was just a bad situation. And then, so I, and I had to fight the second and th the third and fourth siblings for the first time during that fight. And I think I ultimately won that fight, despite everything kind of going wrong. So I've, I've got a good momentum so far on boss fights with them all going down relatively quickly, which is a surprise. Because they seem like they're going to be pretty tough, and then I, I guess I adapt. Neat. <laughs>